Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you a little known trick on how to test your Mac hardware to see if there's anything wrong with any of the components like the display, the video card, or even the RAM. There's a whole bunch of error messages that can come up when you run a diagnostic on it, but it's really helpful uh, to actually know what is exactly wrong with your computer because sometimes you can fix it and sometimes you'll know right away you have to take it to an Apple authorized service center. So how you do it is very important because you will need an internet connection and you will need to know your internet password as well as the keyboard command which is option which is over here and D which is right over here. Okay, so we're going to restart this computer right now and actually go through that process and see how it goes. I'm going to hit option D, as in David. And I'm holding it down, as you can see, until it gets this little globe rolling around that says starting internet recovery. This may take a while. Now, this is a uh, way where the Mac computers connect to the hardware diagnostic that's on the internet. This is not the same as doing a recovery where you erase your hard drive um, or rebuild your operating system. This is a different one. And this one is just for diagnostic. That's why the D is there, option D for diagnostic. Now, if you click on choose network, you will pick uh, your network uh, from this list. And hopefully you can find your Wi-Fi in here. And if you can't, you can try to actually put it in separately. And that's just your internet password and hopefully it will connect. And if it does, uh, it will go to the next steps. And there we go, it has connected and now it is starting the internet recovery. And it's saying this will take a while. Now what it's doing right now is actually downloading the software to your computer so it can run a diagnostic. Um, but again, it doesn't do anything to your computer, and it is not erasing it or downloading any software. And there you go. Now you're in the Apple hardware test. So you would just simply uh, use your mouse to click this arrow key here. Um, and then it's going to do this probing of your hardware. And you want to make sure that it actually uh, reads your hardware, because if it's actually not reading your hardware, you probably are going to have a bigger problem uh, than this particular test can do. Now it does say to perform the test click on the test button which is right above it and it will not be activated until uh, it does that kind of initial you know look-see of your hardware profile. Now if you click over here at your hardware profile that is uh, the Mac computer that I have and uh, if you go over here you know that the profile matches the computer you have you're probably in a good place to start the test. Now you can perform an extended testing, um, and this takes a lot more time by clicking this checkbox here, or you can just run the basic one, which is clicking the test button here. And there it goes. Now if anything is wrong with uh, your computer, you're going to get something in this box down here, which will be in a code format, uh, which will tell you what's actually wrong with your computer. Now if you're having a problem and there is something wrong, um, the first thing you would do is look up what that error code means. It's not too difficult because I will put something in the comments uh, where they actually have the Apple diagnostic uh, kind of directory of error messages and you can look up exactly what the issues are and then Apple actually tells you what you can do about it, whether you need to go to a service center, whether you have to zap the PRAM, whether you want to uh, reset a chip. There's lots of different uh, things that are capable of doing. And if you have bad RAM and you recently put RAM in the machine, you may just want to uh, remove that RAM and run the, uh, the Apple hardware test again and find out you have no problems. Probably you should send that RAM back to the manufacturer and get good ones. Because usually on RAM they give you lifetime warranties anyway. So uh, you could definitely look into that. So this is basically all there is to it. It's going to obviously take a while to go through this whole bar, so I won't keep you on the video for that. But once the test is completed, you do have to look through this. Now, if some reason you need to stop this testing uh, because you don't have time, um, all you have to do is hit the command button, which is the Apple key right next to the space bar, and the period key, which is right over here. And you hold command period, which I'll do right now, to stop it. Now it may take a minute, uh, but it will work eventually. There we go. 
And so that's how uh, you run the Apple hardware test. Now remember, once you get the results in this little window here, uh, you definitely want to jot that down so that you can look that up and see what's wrong and fix whatever the problems are with your computer. Well, that's all there is to it. Little known Apple hardware test uh, that is available on the internet. Just make sure you have Wi-Fi connection and you know your uh, Wi-Fi name and password so that you can get in very quickly. All right, hope you enjoyed listening and thanks for joining my channel if you're a subscriber and hopefully you like the video if you enjoyed this and it's something new that you didn't know. Thanks for listening. Have a good weekend.